Okay, here we are again. <coughs> Excuse me. So let me back up a little bit. So we ran him out to the car, I opened up Johnny's side, I ran, jumped up my side. This older woman come running out, and she said, Preacher, preacher, you can't leave, you can't leave. I said, Why? She goes, she goes, Where are you going? I said, I'm going to Burger King. I'm going to get me a double beef wobble with cheese bun pickles. And I said, Would you like to join me? And she says, No, preacher, you can't leave. I know Jesus sent you. And I said, What's wrong? And she said, Well, I have cancer. 90% of my body and they don't give me but maybe 10 days to two weeks to live. And I've been praying hard that Jesus would heal me. So don't tell me that the miracles was only for the apostles because that's a big fat lie. A big fat lie of the devil. So when she said that, I remembered what the Lord told me. I'm only human. And he said, Michael, today I shall glorify my name and do a mighty miracle amongst my children. And it hit me like a ton of bricks. And I come around the car and I grabbed her by her hand and Johnny following. We walked back into the church. I remember this like it was yesterday. Oh, Lord Jesus, thank you so much. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Yahweh. When we walked in the church, you could, you could hear a pin drop. Everybody just, just clammed up. They, they clammed up because they knew that she only had a few days, weeks to live. And I grabbed her. I still had her by the hand. And... As I was walking toward the pulpit, down the aisle on the left side of the church, I called the people and I said, come on down here by the pulpit, by the altars. I want everybody's hands up in the air. I want people to worship the Lord. I want you to start worshiping Jesus right now because Jesus is going to do a mighty miracle today before each and every one of us, and he's going to glorify his name. And everybody came, and everybody's hands were up, and everybody was, hallelujah, hallelujah. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. And they were worshiping. I looked to the left and there was some anointing oil. And there's the scripture that says, if someone's sick, call for the elders of the church, anoint their head with oil, and pray the prayer of faith, and they shall be healed. So we not only have this in Mark, we have some more scriptures. Okay. But right now, I want to get on with the testimony. So she was standing in front of me. Everybody was gathered around, including Pastor Moody. Everybody had their hands up. Everybody was worshiping. Everybody was, was doing what Jesus wants us to do. He wants us to love him. He wants us to worship him. He wants us to, to, to depend on him, our every need. He, he wants to be in our life. He wants to be in our heart. Jesus is mighty and he's great and he's still doing the miracles that he did back in the days of the apostles through his preachers, the true preachers, the ones that have the real Holy Ghost. I grabbed that bottle of oil, I opened it up, I took it, I turned it, I put some on my fingers, and I put the bottle back down on the thing on the altar side of the altar, it had a little side like this one, you know, like that. and. Uh, I touched her on the head and I said, Satan, I command you by the power and authority given to me by Jesus Christ, my Lord and my Savior and my King, to take your hands off of her. She is a child of the Kings. I bind your powers and I command you to take the cancer from her now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I was still touching her forehead. 
when all of a sudden it felt like a lightning bolt hit me on the head. It ran down my head, my neck, and out my right arm. And as it came out my right arm, it shot out of my fingers. And when it took, when it came to my fingers, she was jolted up in the air and backwards about five or six feet. Just so happens the Lord had two women, sisters, there that were able to grab her and lay her down and cover her with a sweater because she had a dress below her knees, but she was down on the ground. And I thought, when I saw that, being a month saved and filled and baptized and filled with the Holy Ghost, a month now, and I've never seen nothing like this in all the denominations in my life that I was in and out and this and that. I've never seen a birth like this. Because I believe in this word from A to Z. If the word of God says that you can lay your hands on the sick and they shall recover, anoint the head with oil, pray the prayer of faith, and the sick shall recover, that's exactly what it means. It doesn't mean anything else. But I thought that the Lord took her. And I dropped to my knees and I knelt down next to her. And I said, Lord, please. Please, Jesus, don't take her. I just wanted you to heal her, Lord. I didn't want you to take her, Lord, please. Don't take her, don't take her. She was laying still. She looked like she had died. People all around just worshiping, crying, and the power of the Holy Ghost moved in that place. And that's Lord, please. Lord, please don't take her. Don't take her, please, Lord. <laughs> and she opened up her eyes, them beautiful brown eyes. I'll never forget them till the day I die. And she says to me, Preacher. And I said, Yes. And she said, I felt the power of the Most High God. And boy, I was so glad that she was alive. It was crazy. It was just awesome, crazy. The power is real. Jesus' power is real. Don't let nobody kid you or con you or lie to you. Jesus is the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. His power is everlasting. There is no greater power than the power of Jesus Christ, Yeshua, the Son of Yahweh. So we helped her up on her feet. And me and Johnny made our way out of the church. This time, everybody was attentive to her and kind of forgot about us. And we slipped right around there and went to Burger King. And we were sitting there just praising God. Well, a couple of weeks passed by. And the Lord says, Michael, I want you to go back to Brother Louis Church this Sunday coming up. And I said, okay, Lord, I'll go. Of course, Johnny being right there with me, we both went again. And when we walked into that church, there she was. It was two weeks later. Supposedly, she should have been dead, according to the doctors. She got up off that pew and started to run around the church like... Like, good Lord, I can't even explain it. She was like, wow. And she goes, preacher, preacher, look at me, look at me. I got no cancer. They put me in the CAT scan. They put me in the MRI. Oh, my cancer's gone. There's no trace of cancer in my whole body. Preacher, my doctors want to talk to you. They want to know. They want to know who you are. They want to meet you. They want to, they want to take you out to dinner. And right there, the Lord spoke to me and said, no, Michael. Don't you go. They know me. And they know my power. And I said, ma'am, I'm so happy that the Lord healed you, but I can't go. The Lord won't allow it. 
So I stayed for the meeting, the church meeting, and we praised and we worshiped and we, we worshiped. And I went on home, never seeing her again. But all in all, the power is real. The power of Jesus Christ is so real. It's real, people. Don't let that old devil fool you. Don't let him fool you. Listen, his preachers don't even know they're preaching for the devil. That's how good a deceiver he is. If they're not preaching and lining up with the word of Yahweh, they're not preaching for Yahweh, kids. Y'all, men and women, youngsters out there, if they don't believe in the infilling of the Holy Ghost and being baptized in the name of the Son of Yahweh, if they don't believe in laying on of the hands, if they don't believe in casting out devils in the name of Jesus, if they don't believe in that, then they're not the preachers of Yahweh, they're the preachers of the devil, and they are deceivers. The Bible says the blind shall lead the blind, and they'll both shall fall into the ditch. I wonder what ditch that is. Hmm, let me see. Could it be the ditches in hell? I believe that is what that scripture means. The blind shall lead the blind. The deceiver shall deceive, but they both shall fall into the ditches of hell. Oh my God in heaven above. Blessed be the Lamb of God. I'm going to post this as soon as I get off here. And I have an old browser, so it takes me a little while to get it online. But God bless every one of you. God bless every one of you. Let me tell you what Jehovah means. Jehovah means God. Jehovah Jireh means God the provider. Let me tell you what Yeshua means. Yeshua is the name of Jesus in Hebrew. You know what it means? Yahweh saves. Yahweh our Father saves. That's what Yeshua means. The name of Jesus in Hebrew. Praise God, Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray right now that they receive this message. I pray right now that they felt your power. I pray right now that you draw them to you. That you save them. That you touch their hearts. That you open up their hearts, Father. And cause them. Draw them to you, Father. And save their souls and fill them with the real Holy Ghost. The Spirit, the God of the Hebrews, Yahweh. Oh, blessed Father, I thank you. For thou has given me everything I've ever needed. Thou has taken care of me all my life. Father, I give you all the glory and the praise, my Yahweh, my dear Father, my darling. Oh, Jesus, I thank you for dying for me on the cross and for giving me a way out, a way to escape the wrath of Yahweh that has already begun on this planet. Father, say that in the name of Jesus, in the name of Yahshua, save them. Open up their understanding to the scriptures. Send the Holy Ghost to lead them in your word as you did for me. Father, thou knowest my heart. Thou knowest that I love thee. Father, I ask that you protect them and keep them until the day that they can reach out and cry out to you. And I ask, Father, that you help us to build this ministry. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Yeshua. 
Hallelujah. Unto thee, Yahweh. For thou art worthy to be praised. Thou art worthy to worship. Thou art worthy to love and to serve. Father, I ask all of this in the name of your Son, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, in the name of Yeshua, the Son of Yahweh, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. All right, everybody. I'll check you out next time. That's for sure. And I know that Jesus will have something really good for you because the real Holy Ghost dwells inside of me. And I know you know that by now. God bless you all and lead as many people to the YouTube channel as you can and, and um, get them to subscribe because, you know, we don't ask for any money, not one dime from anyone, but we do ask that you lead people to our Google Plus page. The URL is uh, google.com forward slash plus Michael Anthony Correccia 1956. That'll take you directly to the Google Plus page. Now the YouTube page is under my name, Michael Anthony Correggia at YouTube. Would appreciate it. Uh, there's a, a, the supernatural uh, event that the Lord allowed me to capture on video is uh, is on YouTube there. In uh, four files, four videos. They're numbered Kingdom of Yahweh 002, Kingdom of Yahweh 003, Kingdom of Yahweh 004, Kingdom of Yahweh 005. That's how you have to view them. Okay. The enemy has been trying to split them up, but, you know, I'm telling you right now, you have to view 002, 003, 004, 005. Kingdom of Yahweh 002 is the main one. Okay, guys? And get some people to subscribe to that channel because once they subscribe and I reach a threshold according to YouTube, they will donate some money, you know, to this ministry because they'll run their commercials on my preaching videos. But they're rich. YouTube's, YouTube's rich. They can afford to pay. Okay? That's not asking God's children to pay. That's asking a corporation. I ain't even asking. They're telling me that once I reach a threshold of subscribers, they will send a certain percentage for running their commercials. Fine and dandy. I know the Lord is going to lead everybody there to subscribe. You'll be blessing this ministry. You'll be helping us to, to get a better situation going, uh, to reach out further and, and to, the, to the lost and to the deceived and to the poor. I mean, Jesus said, help the poor. Look out for the poor and the needy, the brokenhearted. You know, there's so many people in our own country that are poor, that are brokenhearted, that are needy, that are without. And we can help them by subscribing to that YouTube channel. May God bless all of you in the name of Yahshua, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And I will see you next time for sure, unless the Lord calls me home. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah unto Yahweh, hallelujah unto Jesus. Blessed be the Lamb.